comes off the ball. He stutters and double moves him right there. I mean, and that's the other rookie, Brian Cook, who was playing over the top. More and more in sync with kind of taking him under his wing with this new offense. Offense, whether it's North Turner or Scott Turner, the son, are taking those explosive plays where you try and force the ball down the field beyond the secondary. And Deami Brown. In anticipation by Brissett. One on one. Marquee player against marquee player. The ball wanted to be go to Chigo Conoco right there, number 85. You see quickly. But then Ryan Tannehill just decided, I'm in trouble. I'm throwing this as far as I can. Watch the poise in the pocket. And watch the decision making that he does. Excellent job. He sees the whole field. And the ball is as accurate as you're going to make. Seeing Nick Chubb score long touchdowns is a common theme. Then this is the same thing for the Chargers. And Mike Williams. Because Jefferson can beat you deep. So there you see him right there soloed up. Nice move at the top of that. In pass protection, he's come a long way in that. He's worked very hard on it. That was a key block there. And then Nico Collins go back for the ball going up. And making that contest. Now, I'm really looking forward to watching this matchup. You got number one receiver against number one cornerback. Elite catch radius, I call it, for Pickens. This is, he's never come. Really nice move here. Kind of like a little bit of an out and up. Watch, he's going to break to the out route. Right, and then very quickly gets vertical right there. And a good window fit right there by. Derek Carr sees that Devontae Adams is so open. And those sometimes are the toughest throws. You just don't want to miss him. But he gets it to him. A lot of credit for being able to get underneath that. You're talking about one of the better corners of all time in the NFL to fit that ball in. It's actually very good, very good coverage by A.J. Terrell underneath, and your safety's coming over the top. It's it's a great thing. more again with the instincts to feel and then the closing speed to get that arm out there and knock it away. You're only about five yards away, so what's going to happen? In breaking routes, you've got to read that. He just runs away from the day. You saw the last couple times he puts it up high. This time he goes low into the back shoulder. He knows it's man. He saw the motion of Skoranek. He knows Diggs has him one-on-one. -on -one. Diggs doesn't play a ton in the slot. It's a tough matchup. That was a back shoulder throw that was left inside, like one of those hanging inside curveballs that get hit out of the park. But look at Chase. This is a nice job by both Goff and Khalif Raymond. Goff buying time, getting out of the pocket, and then Khalif Raymond. A little bit last year, right? There's a lot of good teams when you see this catch. That's, I, I oh, he. Oh, that's going to be, I think, he, I think he's you got, got a, a hand and a foot. Oh, the foot. Let's see what they're doing. Up the, up. So he's running with them all the way. Got a little jump on him. He just runs to the middle of the field. Now you got to close and he can't. Because Lockett's running just with them. That's just... Well, at some point, I mean, at some point, you're going to have to play underneath Jefferson. You're trying to play that zone coverage right there. It's a beautiful job by Rob. He ends his stop and go that doesn't fool Ward. But you nailed it at the end. And this is Darius Slay playing that off-man coverage. And he made a, little, a couple little stutters there. Yeah, and this was actually really good coverage here by Darion Kendrick. He pushes him wide. He's out. On, you can see they've got a lot of guys in the box. He's one on one now against Diggs, and this is a great ball. This ball is supposed to be thrown right inside. Tyler Murray to Marquise Hollywood Row. You see Brown shake his way to the inside, and he shakes Epps on that one. But what I love about that is that Brown knew he was going in TJ Edwards' area in that linebacker spot. You want to win late, you got to win early right here. Mooney in the slot wins right there off the release, and then the concentration. To go up, hand fight a little bit with Sullivan, but look at the hand, look at the extension, the concentration, bring it back into the body, and look at that second hand. Just make sure it stays in there as you make contact with the ground. I mean, you want to talk about full extension, Adam. That is just one of the great catches he's had in a long, long time as far as how he's moving. Yeah, and you see, I mean, he had 10 touchdowns last year now. He had one earlier this year. That's the second, and you see the big playability. He just wasn't running the same. Yeah. Play action fake, and then just fire the bullet right in there as you see Davis head. By the offense, and then Lazard breaks off. Some <laughs> look, at look how he keeps it away from his body. Uh, that's just outstanding. Martin Emerson. Yeah, not to mention away from Martin Emerson. Yeah, if he pulls that in, 
then Emerson's going to get a chance to use his arm to break his arms apart. But look at the awareness. He keeps it away from his body. Shiftiness and burst. I mean, look at that. Oh, just turning the rookie corner around. That's the first rounder. I know that Jackson is coming back from an ankle injury, but, you know, he has been the premier ball hawk. Kind of challenge was in front of him, but Diggs averaging over 100 yards. Possibly made that catch. Slant and go. This is your backup tight end who's winning against Spillane, who's oh. one of their better cover guys who comes in as far as Tay Samuel Jr. get back there and give some underneath support, but bad eyes right there and a really good play call. Yeah, it looked look just up here. I mean, it's a perfectly thrown ball. It's by the Giants, D. Well, Aaron just saw one-on-one outside on the edge. A guy he trusts who's been with for four years and just threw a moon. This is great coverage. I mean, you've seen a lot of times Pierce get a chance. This time they go to Pittman, throws it out. I mean, this is what Gus Bradley wanted to avoid. You knew they're going to take a shot. Sells it to the outside with a great route by Juke. Backup tight ends, unless he runs a great route like this and looks like Antonio Gates a little bit to me and maybe it's a number 85 it's a decoy right you're lined up right here in a bunch stack formation outside let Dustin Jefferson you just run that what they call a China route as long as you get him to the top side which he does see how he forces it come back inside to use your body as a shield it's just a leverage play you're gonna watch he out throws the coverage here you'll see 13 runs straight past the middle of the field and Fitzpatrick does not get beat. He almost comes down. He's in perfect position, and he's going to rip it away from him. And Davis goes, no, I'm wow. bigger than you. Well, Mooney coming out of the slot right here and getting out to the edge. And you know what? He is right oh, there. Man. I mean, look at the movement at the top of that route. And Harris. They use Kirk and run it out. And Marvin Jones comes off slow, comes inside and back outside. Really good route there by Marvin Jones. And he's, he's played DK before. Now, DK, he does a nice job of leveraging him. Right now, it's just speed. And then Lattimore did a great job of closing on that. Finding the zone again, finding the space in the zone right there, just in between. To use the entirety of the football field. What's What makes it tough down here? Great coverage, but make sure you use that body. Look at that. Out of contested catches. This is pretty good coverage, and he goes strong hands, gets his hands underneath the ball there. So even though it's moving a little, he's got his hands underneath it. He chose the wrong side. He should have thrown it to the outside. He knows it. See, the ball came back inside. He needed to throw it. To well, here is, here's Mooney right here, and that's the guy we've been talking about. Great little whip back out route, so you're showing a stack formation. He looks left originally, trying to find Ingram. They like the matchup. He was covered. Then the pressure came. Had trying to drop Garoppolo, and he just tossed it up on a 50-50 ball for 30 yards. And clearly got both. Because Sean Murphy bunting, number 23, is in good position. A little bit of contact there, some holding you could have called. He's got his arm around the waist. Kevin, I really enjoyed getting to talk to him on Friday and, and meeting with him. And just his approach to the game, the mental approach, the work ethic, and... Obviously, you can see the talent doing doing exactly what you described covering people look at the length That's what comes into play see the arm of Ward able to lean of the offense with these kinds of skills Yeah, they wanted to get him going they were specific and intentional about it and on that route Jordan advantage of it steps in front of Craycraft and is able to get the interception and this one they'll go for I'm pretty sure look at McCaffrey he may be a running back, but I said when he came out of college I had my highest rated. I mean, look at that distance, right? You're, you're worried about him getting over the top. You're worried about that double move. So you're playing off a little bit. Now it's just that speed cut out. And that's like stealing right there when you talk about Tom Brady and Mike Evans. So what are you looking at? Trying to talk to the official. And what a nice job by Traverius Ward. What looks like a wide receiver screen. The middle receiver is going straight down the middle. Watch what he does right at the end of this. He's got his back turned. As soon as he realizes that Scotty Miller is going to go up, he spins. And as they Meek Robertson was in coverage, he's on top of the route, but Smith shoots. So they double Travis Kelsey, and then it's it's one on one here with Marquez Valdez Scanling, and it's just well, Travis Kelsey's his number one red zone target. This is just really too easy. Able to come right off the ball, Merrick is in former first round pick, and you know sometimes those are the matchups that can work just because of the size advantage.
you just wonder sometimes if there was some confusion. They're so used to having T. Higgins on the field and Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd. They put somebody new out. Humphrey's no dummy. He knew exactly what was coming, too, once he was one-on-one. -on -one. Before Andrews gets to their defensive backs, that time did not happen. Working against Trey Flowers. Nick Sirianni and this offensive staff wanted to draw things up. You could see A.J. Brown on that play right there threatening to go. But by that point, Marcus Peters knew once he was in the air, you can push them out of bounds. No more force outs. So far, and again, they're playing that off-man coverage. He drives up on that ball. Makes the catch. Yeah, and they're going to need Allen Robinson to make some plays. You can see he comes with like a little little. Well, Kelsey starts across the field. Denzel Perriman, like, takes him out, and he almost hits the ground. Then he works back, and as Mahomes is scrambling and some missed tackles,